Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Rasman420 here, coming at you another rock, another Rocksmith video. This time we're gonna be using the PS4 Chef Factory system. <clears throat> it's an editing program, part of your PS4, and uh, I'm gonna show you how I edit my Rocksmith videos. Uh, had some people inquiring how I do this uh, for my PC uh, gameplay transfer and uh, how I do this on the PS4. And I'm gonna link, uh, leave a link down below how you can do this, transfer your uh, Rocksmith uh, 2014 PC version video capture to PS4. And uh, hopefully I can find a link or two for you guys to see how you guys can do that. And that will lead you up to this point where I'm at, uh, where I'm gonna show you. And uh, let's get into it. So uh, at this point, you wanna make sure you have all your stuff installed, your Share Factories folder and your USB stick. And you, hopefully you create yourself uh, folders, you know, video, music, and uh, images, and what have you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the main three ones. And then once you achieve that and suck it in your PS4 ready for transfer, and you're gonna pop in your share factory system, open it up, and we're gonna go to import content here, and uh, I'm gonna go to my music. Should recognize my USB stick, I hope. Yeah, there it is. I just loaded. Uh, so these are songs I just uh, recently just uh, transferred uh, from my digital recorder, Tamscom. I use my SD card uh, to transfer all my music uh, from my PC uh, to the USB stick and uh, put it on here. So now I'm going to transfer those songs onto the PS4. I recorded and uh, import it selected and we import our music tracks. So I just want to make sure they're here. And so on and so forth. You guys get the idea. I'm just checking, make sure that loaded okay. Okay. There it is. Alrighty. So all that loaded up. Got that from the USB stick into the PS4. I'm gonna go to my videos. Import from the USB. The transferring. There's my video clips from my PS4 version, the Rocksmith. <coughs> so we're gonna select the videos we want to transfer. And import the videos. Take a moment. If I get a chance, I'll try to speed up this part. So, bear with me. Great. All right. So that's done. So all that stuff is imported from my USB stick, and now we're gonna go to a new project. Create a new project here. I usually use the PS4 themes. Gives you options which ones you want to use for intros. 
There's one. That one you can make it just self title. It's blank, obviously, but it's up to you to put your title there. Outro. That's all the PS4 outro we all know. <clears throat> and these are all my videos that I've stored in my share factory. So I'm going to do Anthrax. I got more one here. Okay. Anyways, go pick Anthrax. And we're going to start project. We have to rename. Boo boo. I didn't want the PS4 intro, but I think you can still do that. But I usually don't, so I am gonna go over here. Go to my tools and then delete that little clip. There's a little tool icon in the bottom left corner, it's a square button. <coughs> Anyways, so we got that. This is a little quick intro that the PS4 gives us. And we're going to change this here. So we're going to go back to the tool emblem, hit square, and it overlays. And you pick your overlay that's when you want to edit. So I'm going to edit Rocksmith one first. This one has animations on it, so I'm going to take these off. This allows you to blow up or make it small or tilt left or right. You have your options on the bottom of your screen there R1, L2, and L1, you know, down below that helps your direction. So I'm going to blow this up just a little bit. Then we can go back and change another overlay. This time we'll take this off. Hit the tools button, square. Delete that sticker. Don't want that. At least I don't. <coughs> and then go with this other overlay here. It says Rasman, my main. I'm going to go with tools, square. I'm going to delete text. I'm going to replace that text with some new stuff. So now, we're going to go over here and add things. We're going to go on the bottom left where I see the plus sign, X button, hit the plus button, and we're going to add overlays. So I'm going to go to text, I'm going to go here. In the duration of that, that way, uh, it's duration of the the anthrax lettering will be there. <coughs> Add a little color. We can go with color here. Always had to put the saturation here. Uh, sometimes I max it out, but not completely. Pretty close though. Anyways, we're gonna go to yellow. I'm gonna go to yellow. I'm going to use yellow because it's classic Anthrax Yellow from the State of Euphoria album. A little nostalgia for me personally. Put that there. Okay, now we're going to add another text. Title of the song. Duration of time. Add some yellow to it. 
to it. Yellow's still there. We're gonna move this. Make that just a tad smaller. That for that title of song and still gonna add some more stuff here add another overlay rhythm section of the song pick a new color some position put that there <coughs> that's in place I'm going to add another overlay hit X the plus button again add overlay this time I'm going to add a sticker I'm going to add the share factory sticker some duration of that and we're gonna move this guy. We're gonna tilt him. Make it just a little small, just a tad. Put that guy there. And back out. And that guy's in place. One more overlay. X button again, plus button sign down below. Add overlay. Put it text again. time add some color Make that black and we're gonna move this guy down here and that should be it look at that real quick so we got that going okay now I'm gonna add a little music first. What I'm gonna do, I gotta turn the clip, this little small clip here, this little bit, a six, sec six second clip here. I'm gonna turn the volume down on it. Confirm. Then I'm gonna, uh, then I'm gonna add music to it. <clears throat> this is music that's provided on the PS4. It's already for you. There's a whole bunch of samples here for you to use. It's just a matter which one you want to use. And I'm going to use this one right here. So now I'm going to edit the music. And you hit the tool program, square button. <clears throat> and I'm going to trim the music. Down. That was about six seconds. Something like that. Just a little less. Trim music. Try that. Good enough. Good enough for me. So that's close. So now we're gonna fade out on the music. Fade on it, so just cutting off. I usually put mine at 4.3. And next, I'm gonna turn down music volume just a tad because sometimes it can be overbearing. Video start. Okay. And back out of that. Give this a listen.
Alright, so that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna bump the volume up just a tad more. I think I had it down a little too much, so I'm gonna bump it up. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now, I'm going to add another overlay here. I'm going to go to the plus button, X button, the bottom left of your screen there. So now I'm going to add transition. I use dissolve. We have all these other options here for you to use. PS4 provides for you. I use dissolve personally. So I'm going to just choose this. Phase dissolve. Don't worry about this. This is just a brief, you know, just let me know heads up. It'll shorten the project just by a tenth of a second, if that. So no big deal. <coughs> so I'll check that real quick. <laughs> Background music fade, and we got the dissolve. Okay this point it's just video only so what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to sync up the video and the audio up together here so this is gonna be our my next task this is what I have to do what works for me may not work for others hopefully if you do have your uh, PS4 captured uh, I mean your PC uh, version of Rocksmith captured with audio you're already ahead of the game you know, you already got one up on me. But this is the way I have to do it. So this is the way I do it for me. So if you got the PC version and you already have the video and the audio together, sweet. You already have the game. So, uh, then, what I have to do, I'll sit here and try and sync up myself when I push this button here. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Bear with me here. Okay, that's when he clicked it. So we're gonna go here and music. Be all in all. When you create your share factory folders, make sure you label your songs. That way you know what song is which. That way you don't have to go fishing for your songs when you come to this point on the PS4 so make sure you label your songs on your share factory stick uh, in your folders alright so we're gonna pick uh, be all end all that's the song this may take a few moments so just bear with me this is the way I have to do it for me takes a couple of lessons for me to get the sync up just right. Okay. So, we're going to go move music. Do not want to use trim music. I'm just trying to move it. Uh, let's see. See which way I'm going here. Okay, so let's move this back just a tad. Try that. up just a little hair get closer so we're gonna move music try 
that. That's pretty close. A couple of times for me to get it back. I usually get it. Uh, I think I went a little early. Yep. Adjustments from here. So now, we can make sure we go down here towards the end of the song. Make sure it doesn't overlap towards the end of the video. Doesn't look like it. So Sweet. So he got cut off, so I'm not worried about that too much. So now we're going to go over here and trim the music. We can take that off. Not too worried about it. Okay. So then we got the end title here. 
Okay, we're gonna make one more edit here. So we're gonna increase the volume. So make sure you're still on the the main the main track here. So if you're off the blue, it won't increase the volume. It won't give you the options because you're off the music track. Make sure you're on the music track. Go back in options tools here in music editing program. Hit the tools button. Then we're gonna go back into music volume. We're gonna increase the volume here. Increase the output. Make sure you guys can hear me well. We go 165. There we go back out. Oh crap. Yeah. Pretty sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, I applied that. Just making sure I didn't jump in the gun here. So go back. Volume should be increased. On the output. program now we're back okay now that we got this all going here I'm gonna go towards in here title here for myself. So now I'm going to add overlays. Uh, we don't have to really worry the duration on this because it's just the end of the video so you can leave that as is or you can max it out. Like it doesn't really don't matter. <coughs> then we're going to locate this. Blow this up a little bit, and we can leave the color as is. Leave that there. I'm gonna go back and add another transition overlay. Excuse me. <coughs> Thanks for watching. I'll do that just for kicks and giggles. Put that there. Thanks for watching that there back out add another overlay this time I'm gonna go to stickers yeah you can either use a sticker I choose to use a sticker for uh, my little subscription here box or you can write your own and put it there same spot but I choose to use ones provided in the PS4 that there and back out. Gonna add another overlay. And this time I'm gonna go to text and put my Rasman 420 title. Let's increase that. Now I'm gonna add some text effects on my name. 
and you have all these little uh, pretty little options to do what you want for your name or whatever else lettering these little effects and what have you so there's quite a variety here so I'm gonna go back and choose the one I normally use leave that there and I also will change color if you choose to do some color into it but I usually like the the standard DC one so I'm gonna stick with that I'm gonna put that down here bottom left corner Ross Smith 420 back out and we're going to split a clip here so right when the PS4 starts to fade out I'm going to have my thanks for watching and rest minute and subscribe lettering fade out as well so in order to do that we have to go to editing program uh, we'll go to the tools button here square tools and now I'm going to go to split clip so what I'm going to do, I'm going to push my little D-pad button here, push right until the split option is no longer available. So you have that disappear in the X button, bottom left corner. When it disappears, you can't split the clip. When it's there, you can. So I'm going to split the clip there. Confirm. And that's going to cut off the lettering for me. So just to give you a quick example, back out. <laughs> Done. Okay, now we're gonna get one more look. You see, we got the overall, we got title, background music, fade out, fade in. Start of the song, audio sounds all right. sound too bad doesn't look too bad alrighty people that's how I do my video editing so far I'm making a separate video on how I add my uh, 
my video on top of that of me playing and then we'll come back at another time on that and until then I hope you guys enjoy the video hopefully this helps someone out and gives someone an idea or inspired someone else to do the same thing and if you have any questions please let me know in the description in the comments down below like I said I'll try to leave a description uh, of the link in the description box on uh, how you transfer your stuff to a USB stick and to use the, the Share Factory program <clears throat> and how do you transfer all that stuff so you can do the same thing as I do. Anyways, this is Raspbian420 here. Hope you guys enjoy it. You guys have a good one.